One fearless, two Argentine prisoners provided evidence that the British troops were on the move. They'd been spotted and ambushed by paratroopers as they drove along in a Land Rover. These two surrendered. Another died of his wounds. In the subdued light below deck, they stood apprehensively under the guard of armed sentries as a naval interpreter explained what would happen to them. They had few possessions, bullets, guns, some photographs, cigarettes and matches. And oddly, a two kilogram pack of margarine which had been nibbled at. There was now a trickle of prisoners coming back to the ships. Blindfolded, they'd been confused by travel in helicopters and boats before being unmasked in the half-light below deck in Fearless. Low red lighting was used anywhere it might spill out into the open. White light would give away the ship's position after dark. The ship's commander was anxious lest souvenir hunters steal any of his captives' belongings. The British were now beginning to distinguish between their opponents, the officers and the NCOs, as tough and professional as the British Army. Where are you from? Are you speak English? And the conscript soldiers, plucked from country villages, pressed into a war they didn't want.